hello guys and welcome to the channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to install this here nvme m.2 solid state drive into this caddy for your macbook air or your macbook pro or your xbox or your playstation 5 whatever it may be so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so first and foremost i am going to have to open this so let's get a blade I will leave you a link to this NVMe. I think I paid 60 pounds for it, so it's not bad at all. Oh, oops. Okay, so you do get a little pamphlet and stuff, so that's that. This is a caddy that I bought from Amazon for this NVMe. Send me back, I think, about 20 odd quid. I'll also leave a link in the description. So in the box, you get a USB-C to USB-C, and then you get a USB-C to USB 3.0. And what do you know? I already had one of these screwdrivers, so pop that back. Okay, so we're gonna go right ahead and uh, unscrew this bit. The good thing is the screws are magnetized, so you won't lose it. So you take this out Let's grab the NVMe Move that out of the way And as you can see guys It's very easy to align It literally slots straight in We're we'll coming to it with a bit of an angle That's it. And this flips over, like so. So that's that bit done. It's now connected. Then you want to come to this side and place this over the sticker. Now you can remove this sticker, but it voids the warranty. Perfect. There you go. So that's that done. Flip it over. There you go, as you can see. It's fitted nicely in. As you see, that's nicely gone in. Then you want to remove this blue sticker from the top as well, like so. And then you just gotta screw it back together again. And hopefully that should work. And that my friends is how you put the NVMe into a caddy. Now let's see if it actually works on the MacBook Air. Okay guys, so here you can see how much hard drive space I have on the actual MacBook Air. It's used 16.7 gig and I've got 213.07 gigabytes remaining, which is free. So if you look over here, one terabyte hard drive. So that's how you get an extra terabyte of hard drive for your MacBook Air. Very easy to do, very simple. All in all, it cost me uh, 60 pounds for the NVMe, and it cost me 25 pounds or roundabouts there for the actual caddy to house the NVMe and there you go you've got an extra terabyte very fast speeds and you're good to go put your movies on there put your editing videos on there photos whatever you need to do and it's easy to carry and look guys a very small footprint so that's it guys that's a wrap that's how you get an extra terabyte of storage for your MacBook Air thank you for watching I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.